This is Omar again. Today I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Today we're making mashed potato, the way my mom showed me, Dominican style. And I'm making some sweet sausage. All right. So, like always, I'm going to show you first off how what I'm going to use to make everything. Okay, we're going to start off. You're going to need some onions, peppers, mashed potato. You can buy any in the supermarket, your regular potatoes. We're going to need salt, oil, milk, two cheese, and crap, whichever one you want. Sweet sausage. This one is really good. Okay? And your mashed potato. I already peeled the potato. All right? And for a family of four, you could use about nine potatoes. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the potato. Okay? I already washed them. Make sure you always wash your potato. All right? So we're going to come here and just cut them into little pieces. The reason I'm doing this is because like that is easier to mash the potato when it's cut in pieces instead of being, you know, entirely together. As we cut this potato, I'm going to show you the pots that we need, okay? If you go back and look, this is one pot that we need. This is for the potatoes. You fill up the water, as you can see where the water is, where my finger is right now, up to there, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the water on now. You can put the fire in medium high, just for the water to get heated up, and then we have a frying pan just for the sweet sausage to cut it up and cook it there nicely. Alright, cool, welcome back. So, as you can see, I cut all my mashed potato. Now, as you see them, they're nice and diced in there. So the next step we're going to do is, we're going to get your mashed potato, take your salt, alright, and we're going to need some oil too. Follow me over here. Alright, slowly the water is warming up. You could put the potatoes already in there, alright? So you put them in there nicely, so it won't make a big spill of water. Okay. Now, we're going to put some salt in here. Okay. Follow me with the salt. You can see how much I put in here. Two, three. You do about three circles. Alright? Yeah, do a little more. Alright. The oil, you can take some oil and just put a little tiny bit of oil in there. Real small. That's good. Just makes it a little bit softer. Now all we're going to do is leave the potato warming up, boiling. Now how do you know when the potatoes are ready to take out? What you're going to do is this. You're going to take a fork. Alright? When you get the fork, when the water's already boiling, you're going to poke the potato. See, right now it's hard. You're going to know when they're ready is when it's completely soft and your fork goes right through the potato. Then that's telling you it is ready and ready for the next step. Now we're going to go to the sweet sausage. Alright? We come here. You open the pack. Remember, this is very, very good sausage. A nice brand that makes it really good. Um, what you could do is you're going to cut them in little pieces. That's the way I like But You can have the whole sausage or what you want. Alright? So we just take it and cut it. And like I always say in all my videos, just don't forget this is my style. You can criticize what you want. But this is the way I've learned how to make it and the way me and my family like to eat it. Alright, if you like it, you can eat it, you can try it, and I promise you, you will like it. Alright, so we're going to cut this into pieces. As we cut the sweet sausage, you don't have to put no seasoning. I know you guys usually see me do uh, adobo on my meat, but this time, I'm not putting no adobo on mine because it's already kind of seasoned and it tastes really good. The only thing that I'm going to put in the pan with the sweet sausage is the peppers. The peppers and onions. You're going to see me do that in a few seconds. Alright, cool. So, as you see, we cut all the sausage, right? Now, what we're going to do next, take a small cup, fill it up like halfway, okay, just halfway the cup, and this is for the sausages. You're going to put the fire on medium, okay, and you put the water in here. Put some water. There you go. That's good. Alright, so we come back here now as that goes heating up, as it goes heating up, as that goes heating up, we're going to start cut, cutting the peppers and the onions. Come in little pieces, right? We want to have chunks. So you cut two big pieces and cut this, let's cut another one. And like always remember, wash your hands. Wash your hands and take your jewelry off. The only one I'm going to take off is my wedding band because my wife will kill me. Alright. Now remember, I'm not a professional cutter, so I'm not good with uh, 
cutting these vegetables, I know, but I try my best. Okay, I'm using today yellow pepper, green pepper, bell pepper, whatever you want to call it. All right, there we go. And you're going to cut yourself some onions, too. Okay, what this does is I'm not an onion lover. So I cut big chunks so that I know when it's done, I can see it and take it off. But what it does is it gives it a nice flavor to the meat. Okay, so with the onion, just cut nice big pieces. There you go. Just like that. Perfect. So we want. There we go. There we go. And all we do with this is we're going to throw it in there. Right, as it's heating up, just throw it in there nicely. Now when we put that meat in there, it's going to have all this flavor from the peppers and the onions. And you, you know, throw it around. You want it everywhere. Okay, there we go. As you can see also, the potatoes are still warming up, are still cooking. Alright, so once I put the meat, I'll show you guys how everything is and how we start matching. Alright, uh, please stay tuned. And we'll be right back after these commercials. Thank you. As you can see, the peppers are cooking nicely there, and the sausages and the onions. So we're going to leave it covered until it becomes nice and brownish that you can see it's cooking. And the mashed potato is also boiling already. You could start poking your fork to see if it's soft, and as you can see, it's getting soft. So that one, look, it broke apart as you do it. See how easy, but it still needs a little bit more. Now, I just wish you guys could try this, because this is so good. When I finish this, wow, it's so good. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my taste of it, my daughter, Anna Michelle. My daddy started cooking is so good. Yum. Alright, we'll be right back to the mashed potatoes. Alright, cool. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, come to the mashed potato. You see the water boiling. Like I told you, you poke it with your fork. Fork, knife, whatever. You're going to see how soft it is. Look how it breaks apart. See that? That means you're ready to go. Alright, so we're going to turn it off. What we're going to do is we're going to drain the water now. Bring it. Now, when you do this part, do it real slowly because you do not want to get burned. All right, so slowly, take that water out, let the potato fall there. There we go. Woo, that's a lot of heat. That's a lot of heat. You can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. All right, so what we do now is we shake it around a little bit just to make sure that water is gone from there. There we go. And you get yourself a nice little ball. Nice size, empty ball, clean of course. And we're going to take this and put it in there, over the potato. Just throw them in there. I'm not going to grab it because it's really hot. Okay. There we go. Alright, now, this is the best part. What are you going to do? A couple of things. You need something to mash potatoes. You can have one of these with a mashed potato. If you don't have it, you can just use a regular cup. Just make sure it's clean. You can use the bottom part and mash it that way. Or you could use a fork. For me, the fork is too long, but you can use. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start mashing is we're going to put a little bit of salt in there. Okay. So you take just not that much, just a little bit. There we go. As you're doing this, you got to go tasting it, okay? And you mash some of the potato now. There we go. As you go mashing, for it could be easier, this is where the milk comes in. Okay. Take some milk and just pour. There you go, as you can see. And you mash now. Mash. Now, when the whole thing is, you see the potatoes nicely mashed, you're going to go and put in here one cheese first and mash. Trust me, that cheese makes a difference. Trust me, guys. And girls, you make this, your family's going to love you. With some, like I said, some salami, pork chop, steak, anything. As you can see, 
See, mine looks still a little bit dry, so I'm going to want to put a little bit more milk in there. Okay, a little more milk. And I'll put the next cheese I have. So what happens is, like, the potato's really hot. You put this cheese, it goes melting. And it breaks in there, and it gives it a nice taste. See, that's enough milk, because now it's becoming smushy. And remember, as you make them, you've got to taste it to make sure you have the right amount of salt in there. And there you go. You see, you're making mashed potato. And that's how easy it is to do the mashed potato. Now we're waiting for our sweet sausage. Now what I'm going to do is, like I told you, you got to taste it. So I'm going to give it a little taste to make sure we are good to go with the salt. Mm-mm-mm. It is so good. Let me ask my cameraman and he'll tell me how it tastes. Cameraman? Does it need more salt? Oh, what do I mean? It's good. Alright. He put thumbs up for good. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's still nicely getting cooked there. Now, as you can see, it's cooking. The meat, everything, and it should come out good. I'll come back to show you guys the final picture. Thank you very much for watching again. Omar, My Style Cooking.